Hello Slammers, Malone here. We're going to discuss the November run for number one. Lots of questions coming in, which is good. Lots of uh, positive comments about uh, how things are working out and a few negative ones, but uh, we like to tackle those as they come in and just make sure that this is a fair process to determine the top ranked Slammer at the end of our season. So, uh, lots of rules to go through, but uh, we're just going to try and keep this video to about three minutes to explain uh, what's coming up. So if you go to our rules page and you click on November run for number one, there's a little bit of an overview there, but the real meat comes from this PDF overview, okay? Uh, in the email, I've highlighted a few of uh, specific ones that you guys need to action right now. So what's going to happen is tomorrow, November 10th, if you are eligible for two divisions, example, you're in the B and you're a senior, or you're in the A and you're a senior, for example, Pro Z, he could, he's number one overall, and um, he can go in the A or the senior. So he has already emailed me saying he wants to contend in the senior. So I have that on file, now he's gonna be stripped out of the A rankings after November 10th. So that means there'll be a new number one A. All right, so what's gonna happen on Saturday is like our semi-final round and we have all these specific rules to it. Number, like number five in each division, highest ranked slammer in attendance on Saturday will be the new number two, okay? So what that means is say in our, let's go to our stats page, and we have, let's sort by our A, we'll click off official, sort by A class, okay. So Prozy's number one A. He wants to go senior. Crenshaw now becomes the number one A. Say he goes to senior, he's out. Clang is the new number one A, followed by Yipmeister, Steamer, and Skeeter. Clang can play Saturday if he wants to, but he doesn't have to because he's the number one A. So he gets a bye to Sunday. So Yipmeister is number two in the A. Say he does not play Saturday but Steamer does. Steamer now becomes the number two A-classer on Saturday. Say Skeeter doesn't play, but Blue does, DeGoler does, and Smitty does. Those four will be the top four ranked A's on Saturday, so they get locked into the group. I pulled up last year's semifinal round, and you can see there, the top four C's playing that day are locked into a group. Okay, the top four seniors that day are locked into a group. There's lots of other people playing that aren't in the final four, and that's okay. Anyone is still welcome to play. But it's going to be the top four on Saturday that are playing in your division that are locked into a final group. And then uh, number ones get a bye no matter what. But if you're number two and you do not play Saturday, you're at risk of getting bumped all the way out. Okay? And then what happens is on Sunday... Everyone who's registered, again, the top four for that day will be grouped for the final round. And after Sunday's event, all of the 2015 number ones will be crowned. So again, this video could be 10 minutes long if I explain everything, but what needs to happen now is on November 10th, which is tomorrow, if you have the option of going into two divisions, you need to let me know um, by midnight on November 10th and then I'll release that information so we have some official rankings going into the last two days lots can happen in between now and then okay but everything should be covered in one of these rules so if you have time make sure you just give them all a quick read it all makes sense to try and get final foursome on the final day all right but we need to make sure that people don't sit idle because that's just not fair and then we need to make sure that classes stay within each other and that's why you have to pick your class by November 10th. That's why we don't want people um, challenging classes that are too far away. So we want to avoid as much leapfrogging as possible while there's still a bit of it. On Saturday that doesn't become possible because that's our semi-final round. Okay, that's my uh, video, that's my rant. If you have any questions, you can call me 613-859-8810. I'm making myself available as much as possible here for this November run for number one. So call me if you have any questions. Um, again, it's uh, the process is there. We just got to make sure that the communication is. So any help um, with people who fully understand it, uh, spreading the word, or if um, you guys just want to call my cell phone, 613-859-8810. Thanks so much.